Sorry, my, I'm like a little out of breath today because I'm like very, very tired. Hey, what's going on? One you? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, oh, this will bit it. Um, some of you may understand uh, what this is. <laughs> If you have seen, um, if you saw the tweet previously, some of you may understand why it's only you left here. Um, I was practicing with a device. <laughs> with a very certain device. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, switching from two channels to one channel might, might cause the stream to crash, but we'll see. If it does, YOLO. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Okay, I think it's working now. I need to, uh. Both ears, pod, let's go. Yeah. Um, so I was like, um, for those of you who don't know, I have a 3DO. It's one of those, like, ASMR microphones that have, like, the left and right ears. Um,. And I was practicing with it a little while, like last night, a couple nights. Uh, so I was trying to figure out the left and right ear thing for a bit, and I forgot to get that setting reset back when I went live. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So there's the announcement right there. I have a 3 dl microphone, and I want to do some ASMR streams, but I don't really know what exactly the content's going to be. But I do have, I, I have been practicing with it, so hopefully we'll be able to have fun with that as we go through. Yeah. Should we be expecting something? I might do like one or two membership streams with the with the 3DO mic. Um, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> uh, truth be told, it's a little bit embarrassing. Um, I listen to myself with it, uh, like, I listen to the, the monitoring on it, and it's, like, very clear. <laughs> it's, like, weirdly clear. Um, so, like, you can hear, like, everything that happens. Like, you can hear the air passing through between my teeth when I talk. Like, that's how clear it seems. So, yeah. <laughs> Krama, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for using my work art virtually hard No, 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 thank you so much for drawing. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. It looks amazing. Yeah. Koi pee pasta. Should we try that with the ASMR? I don't know if I can be able to get it set up all the way um, in time for ASMR, but maybe we could try it. I don't know. I don't know if people will want to like show up for ASMR microphone or like they just want the story part. I don't know. So I feel like it might be. I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Because <clears throat> I think some people might be showing up um, with the expectation of just reading and listening to the stories without like the, the left and right ear experience. I don't know if I can do both. I don't think it's possible, is it? Like, I would have to get a second interface and then, like, a second instance of OBS, one that records the, the binaural audio and then the other one that records mono. That's gonna be weird. <laughs> All right, give me just a minute, chat, real quick. Um, how's the volume? I think it's gonna be a little quiet. All right. Chat. Today we'll be jumping back into the world of horror, only this time 
the game is like officially released. Um, so the yeah. a bit quiet, too loud. Okay, let's bring the game down a little bit, and then I'll raise myself just a tiny little bit. See if that helps out. How is that now, chat? Game is loud. Game is loud. Okay, we'll bring it down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Is that better? Better? Love when the Vetra BGM. It is kind of nice, yeah. Now the game is too quiet? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Chat, next time just throw, just like shout it at me. You know? Just be all like, Shenrei, you are too loud or too quiet or um, anything like that. Just, it's cool. Can you hear the game? Can't hear the game now? Oh my goodness. OBS is telling me this is like the average because it's like it's usually around negative 30 to negative 35 decibels but wait I'm I'm loud now oh my gosh <laughs> okay how about now is that better now testing one two three testing one two three I keep forgetting that there's also like a little bit of a delay so that like as I'm adjusting my volume people are saying it's too loud or too quiet but like I have to remember like about five seconds worth of delay so I had to like adjust and then wait five seconds for people to hear the adjustment and then chat goes in through <gasps> doji hey thank you so much for you been on membership I swear I already had an 8 month message, but anyway, love this game, happy to catch life. Let's go! Thank you, thank you for reaping the membership. Okoidi, okoidi. Alright. We have World of Horror. And we're, we're gonna jump into it, because I don't really know... Um, I don't really know... I feel like it's just all, like, roguelikes, right? You're just gonna jump into it and then you go through the full run. Your voice is so bassy that it started to peak my headphones. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we just do quick play? I think we should just do quick play because we've already done the tutorial part and like the little, the like the short excerpts. So I think we should try like a full, normal run? Question mark. Is that what it's called? I think it's called like normal run, right? So we'll do quick play. We'll do this a couple of times today, so we can always come back and try another one. Yeah. You can customize if you want. I don't know what there is to customize, so... I... I... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> can you change your voice to 8-bit? Can I? Um... I don't know. Hang on, let's see. Can I do that live? It might get, like, wildly crunchy. Okay, let's see. OBS, where is audio? Oh no, I can't do that live. Yeah. OBS, OBS audio bit rates. Oh no, I can only go down to 64. I can't do eight. I think that'd be way too much. It would just be like a constant single bass tone. So... <laughs> 64 is the lowest, unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, let us try a quick play. Let's go. True chaos. This option will start a new playthrough, randomly selecting character, old god, background, and more. Yeah, let's go. All right, the introduction is pretty much the same for all of these, so we're gonna go ahead and skip it because you kind of see most of these. Ooh. Wait, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've all seen we've seen these ones, same ones, right? Okay, there we go. The beginning of the first quick play. Let's go. What is this one? Kathak Atorasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. Ooh. Cocoon prison. Is it like a giant spider? It looks like a giant spider. Like we can only see like a couple of its legs. But like, oh my god. Old God's rule. You cannot escape from combat encounters. Backstory. Medical history. Character exclusive perk cards only. Ooh, we have a medical history now. Alright. 
wait a minute. Hang on, I'm gonna move myself down a little bit. Look how cute we are. Aww. Medical history. Oh. <laughs> wait, what? Foggy, hello, Quady, Quady. Thank you for reading the membership. I'm ready for World of Horror. Thank you for creating comfy space. Of course, of course. Thank you so much for reaping the membership. Medical history. Brittle bones run in your family, and you spent each summer in a cast. You start with extra experience and, ban and bandages, but injury may occur whenever you take damage in combat. Oh. Oh, jeez. Brittle bones? That's not good. We're gonna take a lot of damage, and it's gonna... You get a new status discharge summon? Ooh. Oh, Moonshido. Thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. We'll get some hearts from chat from the gifted memberships. Five seven seven eight six four. Hmm. All right. I want to see what the status is though. Like, you gain a new status discharge summary. Does that change us? <gasps> Ooh. Look at that. It's a good giant spider face. Hip hip ray. Thank you for the super chat. Once again, you can't escape the bat. Oh my god. <laughs> no, not my bad joint problems. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Eternal web. We can't escape. So we're going to have to see all the fights through. And we're going to take damage every single turn. And oh gosh, that's going to be painful. No weapon, nothing, nothing. Metal kits. Ooh. Use, gain two bandages. You can heal one major injury while keeping this item in your inventory. Ooh. Army issued medical kit. Oh. Okay, cool. We have the bandages now. I didn't need to open that at the moment, but we'll go with it. All right. Let us start. Let me check your mailbox. It is empty. All right, back in your home. You think of your next move. All right, we're gonna go ahead and check out some. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. Uh oh, no. We need to go take a bath and fill up our water bottles, right? Oi. And I think you for stopping by. Hope you have a wonderful day at work. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked five of them down, hoping there's something connecting them. Let's go. Alright, which ones do we have today? Oh, these are really cute. I love the alliteration. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Sorrowful saga of moonlight sailors. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Hey, we've been that one. Far out fable of fear festival, or tragic tale of thaumaturgy teacher. Ooh, like a chemistry teacher? Is that what it means? Thaumaturgy? Susan, thank you so much for having been a membership. Okay, seven months, let's go. Yabi asked the your newies chilling with me watching you. Aw, let's go. Thank you, thank you. What are the ones say on the left? Okay, so the ones we have right now are Bloody Brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. We have the Sorrowful Saga of the Midnight Sailors. We've already gotten um, ending B with this one. And then we have Alarming Account of Abnormal Arms where we unlocked the pervert ending. <laughs> but we haven't tried any of these ones yet. These are new to us, completely new. These three right here. Let's try the tragic tale of the thaumatur thaumaturgy teacher. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Wow. Two B used to be one of the most outstanding classes in school. What? Two B used to be one of the most outstanding classes in the school, at least before their teacher's disappearance. Her replacement glides through the school, entrancing all those around her with her soft voice and calming, emotionless eyes. Now. 
She stands at the front of the class, scribbling occult symbols in chalk and hissing lessons about the old gods. The children no longer play, but sit in their seats until dark, chanting along, learning of the eldritch masters and preparing to serve them. Ooh. All right. What is this? Following a rumor, you visit the house of a schoolgirl who acted very strange in class. <laughs> there have been times when I've acted strange in class. I've never been investigated. The girl's parents sit crying in the living room and fearfully point you upstairs. Ooh. Okay. Ah, uh, travel downtown. You're already here. Threat level's low. Where is... Here? Travel to apartments. Wait, Chan. I have a question. This thing over here, this little extra thing called the Legion Lesson, investigate downtown twice to complete this case, uh, quest. So, the game wants me to go to the apartments right now, which is that circle, but is it okay to take a detour to go downtown? and investigate twice? Or is like completing this quest not really worth it? Because it doesn't tell me like whether there's an, a reward over it for it or like if I should. It's a side quest, but like does it give me, does it give me a thing? Sub quest, you do option. I mean, it doesn't tell us what the reward is. Like will it give us some health? Will it recover some of our uh, reason items? Why don't, yeah, let's go try it, let's go try it. So let's go do the side quest first and then go to the apartments to investigate this strange girl. Downtown. Investigate downtown. Oh, the little chibi is so cute. Ah. Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any unwanted followers. What could it mean? Ooh, let's investigate. Yeah, follow the weird man. Oh, perception check success, let's go. The door is locked, but you repeat the knocking pattern the suspicious man used. A moment later, the door opens and a surprised teen with greasy hair asks who the hell you are. Mistaking these nerds for cultists is sure embarrassing, but deep inside, you're relieved. Minus 2% doom. Oh! Wait, doom, the doom meter can go down to negatives? I'll take it. <laughs> okay, one more time. Investigate downtown just to complete the side quest. We're at negative 1 doom. And, well, there it is. There it goes. It has been almost a year since your childhood friend has moved away for, to another city. He suddenly left without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wanted to sell it. In an envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Ooh. All right. I guess I could help. See, the thing that I would send out is an email. Be like, it's in the letter. Be like, uh, guys, delete my browser history. Please. <laughs> Strange chick failure. No. While moving the wardrobe to the doorway, you take a wrong step and sprain your ankle. It's nothing serious, but you'll have problem walking for a few days. Oof. <gasps> Ooh. Climbing a tree, you get a better view of the class. Weird schematics of some portal drawn on the blackboard could help in the future. <gasps> Ooh. We got some weird schematics of a portal. Huh. It, is there a way to see that? I want to know. Abolish? No, this is this comes by default, right? Hmm. Discharge summary. Treatment discard plus twenty experience. Should we? Oh, we can do this right now. Is is there any like downside to discarding? Because it gets 
we we get 20 experience. That's quite a lot at the beginning, right? I want to go ahead and discard it. Because I don't, I don't know what this actually does, so let's go discard and take it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, 24 out of 100. Okay, not bad, not bad. Is there a way to see the mysterious like symbol that we found? I guess not. Mm. No, nothing about the symbol that we found. All right, let us continue. Can now start the actual. Can now start the actual quest. Investigating the staircase. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up! Shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Uh. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter, or call the police. Normally what I would do is, if they're knocking, it means they can't open. So what we do is just leave leave the door locked and just ignore it. <laughs> just leave the door and then just leave it, you know, like ignore, wait until they get bored and go. But I'm curious. I'm curious. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Dexterity check. Success. Let's go. Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home at all. Ooh, ooh. That's so creepy though. That's so creepy. I think um, for this kind of reason, they actually have covers that go on the back end of the door that blocks sight. So what happens is if you put the letter, it hits the cover and it falls down, like straight down to the floor. Um, but like you can't look in. And that's what I would like. If you have one of these, I would highly consider like getting one of those covers because it'll let the letters in, but it'll block any vision if some creepy person tries to like take a peek inside. Or poke it, yeah, or like get a cat. So like when they try to like open up the little nail slot, the cat will like smack them in the eye. All right, so this little girl who is at home and her parents are crying, she sits in the bedroom in a blood-stained uniform, a dead rat lying in her hands, asked why she killed it, and she just grins. Ooh, that's, that's a little, little yikes. Whenever these like spooky stories involve like kids that are like going around and killing animals, it's like mm, usually it's a very bad sign, you know. Shinri found a LARPing group, broke his ankle, has glass bones and paper skins, then got visited by a man in his apartment. Our adventure is going swimmingly, and this is only the first mystery. Wired preacher. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about a real lord and savior? The day of the reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other line puts an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? I feel like we might take psychic damage from this. But I'm also really curious. I'm also really curious. Let's find out. How bad could it be? We lose, like, what? A little bit of reason? Oh my god. That wasn't a little bit. That was a lot. Oh my god. You learned some useful bits of information about your nemesis. However, if everything the man had said was true, humanity is doomed. I thought it was going to take, like, one or two reason, not three. Oh my god. But I'll take the ne I'll take the negative five doom. That's, that's all right. Right. Emotional damage. Another lead. The former teacher of the class may prove more useful. Knocking on the door, however, gets you no answer. Just subtle chittering behind the door. Okay, let's investigate the village now. Starting off, because the last time we played, our character started with 21. Stamina and reason, we start with 17, so like 3 is a big chunk. 
when thank you so much for this thank you so much for your first super chat thank you thank you putting your hand in the hole was a bad idea seeing the big spider escape we hope it wasn't poison ah. really <laughs> plus injury no okay a little boy from the school has been attacked by his classmates wait should we take care of the injury that we have to bite? Hopefully it'll go on its way its own. Oh, it's a minor injury. Okay. We can't really clear it anyway, so... Should we? I really don't think so. I, I, I want to save... Because we, we have um, brittle bones, we take a lot more damage, and the bandage is able to heal... It does heal one minor injury. It's not a major injury, but... Oh gosh. Let's hold on to it for now. I don't want to waste it, because we have only these two bandages to last all of the investigations, until unless we find more items, so... Let's hold on to it for now. Yeah, we're way too fragile. Very squishy. Investigate the hospital. Paranoid patient. When the patient came home one morning, covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. Ooh, let's find out. Charisma check. Success. Let's go. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and this crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join you in your quest. Plus, I'm like, oh, let's go. Reiko, aw. A naive socialite. Completing a mystery grants one funds. It'll be fine. Trust me. Aww. Let's go, Reiko. Talk. Reiko sniffs. What's that smell? Okay. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Morax, thank you so much for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. Get some hearts in chat for the gift of membership. Thank you. Wasn't the last person that we played as also Ring Reiko? I'm pretty sure they just reused the names, but it, it would be kind of cool if like you were playing the game and you fail or you succeed, and then later on the same character that you played as would return. A people, thank you for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. you get some hearts right, people as well. She looked too different too. Yeah, I think the art's kind of all over the place, but you won't know, but it's a nice idea. Wait. Ah. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The spider bite got infected and now we have negative one dexterity perception. Are you serious? Oh my god. We should have taken care- Oh my god, we should have taken care of it when we had the chance. You find him in the hospital, covered in bites. Just what is with the whole summoning that he speaks of between his songs? Travel to the school, hospital everywhere. Is there a place to go to, like, to a shop to like heal up or something? Oh, look at Reiko. Therapy. You're stomped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. He introduces himself as a researcher for Tokyo University and testing a new treatment method that promises to revolutionize modern medicine. Holding out a pile of documents, he tells you that he can heal your wounds for free. You just need to sign here. I don't know, chat. This seems very... Hmm. This seems very, uh, suspicious. Show me the fine print, right? It's very coincidental that we got an infected wound, and as soon as we got an infected wound, this guy shows up and it's like, hmm. Looks like I can help you there. <laughs> this is really sus. But how bad could it be, right? Might as well. Let's go. Let's go see what happens. Luck check success. Let's go. 
Later, you wake up in a surgical ward. There's no sign of the doctor, but you feel healthier, and you notice that one of your wounds is gone without a trace. You can select an injury status and heal for free. <gasps> Let's go! How do I... Oh, do I have to dissolve it first? Wait, how do I... I don't know what to click on to resolve this. Uh, I guess we just resolve? Wait, what? What? Next to the X? No, these are all blacked out. Well, I guess we're going through it. <laughs> okay, let's go to the let's go to the school. Wait, why is it suddenly so dark outside? You stand by the window and take a look. Black smog emerges from the courtyard, coating everything in an oily vapor. Ooh. Levery, thank you for the gift and membership. Thank you, thank you. Get some arts chat for the gift and membership. Uh, I want to look at it. I want to look at it and see. Ah! <laughs> By the time you realize the vapor is forming into a giant hand, it's too late. It crashes through the window, sending shards of glass everywhere. We're taking a lot of damage very early on. The vain chanting doesn't stop, but no one enters or leaves the building. Okay, let's continue investigating the school. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from underneath the door of the chemistry classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? <sighs> Ellie, thank you so much for the gift of membership. Get some more hearts in chat for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. Wait. Empty bottle? Ah, oh, if I had for if I had remembered to pick up the empty bottle from our house, we could have scooped up some of that. Okay, we got punched by the black smog, so let's not let's not wade through it. Let's just avoid it and take a detour. Better safe than sorry. You take the stairs to another floor to avoid the sludge. Plus two percent too. You hear a scream coming from the school. It's time to enter. Oh, here we go. You sneak in through the window and skulk across the shadowy corridors. All the classrooms have been emptied out. Peering into one, you spot the corpse of a teacher nailed to the chalkboard. Shaking, you approach it. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. You spot an old, odd bulge protruding from his stomach. It rides against your finger as you probe it. Prepare for combat. Ah, oh, no, it's like a chest burster or something. Suddenly, the teacher's chest rips apart, showering the classroom with gore. From within, a child coated in meat and intestines jumps out, screeching with joy. That... Wait. That's a whole ass student. That's not a child. I thought I was expecting a baby. I... what? Congratulations! It's a girl! What? Oh my god. Okay. Uh. Gore covered student. Uh. 16 health. Negative 1 stamina damage. 20 power. Yeah, congratulations. Okay, we don't have any weapons. We're gonna have to punch it, but. Order our allies to attack. Around 2 damage. Chance to hit is 60%. Oh. Uh, 2 damage, 80% chance to hit. Okay, wait, we should analyze first. Assess. And then we can't use any spirit, because I'm, I'm assuming this is like a physical monster, so let's go and prepare. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Where, where's the boost, right? Attack boost. Okay. Boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. Uh-oh. Hi, Pepray. Thank you for the super chat. Suddenly hate this gender reveal party. <laughs> uh, boost? Okay, two boosts and a punch. This way we guarantee the hit. Because even if it's 90% chance, it may miss. 
Let's go. It's always those gender field parties that like causes problems, right? All right, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> How did she end up in that teacher's stomach? That's what I'm saying. Human, female, weak against sharp. We don't have any weapons though. Okay, same thing then. Uh, boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. Go. Ah, jeez. Boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. There's really not much that we can do because we only ha we're completely unarmed. Let's go. As you near the gym hall, the chanting and rhythmic drums grow louder, threatening to intoxicate you. You creak open the door open and stifle a scream. The entire school. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. The entire school is gathered around a huge portal surrounded by black candles. From within, the bellowing of the beast being summoned echoes. The teacher stands at the front, covered in a purple robe, her true form revealed. No, 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 no. I'm gonna say so idle. I'm gonna say so idle. Okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and assess. Uh, and then, oh, we can't punch it. We can't punch it. The enemy is so massive, this attack won't cause any death. Is that a thing? That's a thing? This isn't even my final form. <laughs> It's the building. It's literally the building. We have to fight the building. What? Plus two dune damage. 80 power. Currently, your chance to hit is low. Oh, well, no, we're screwed. We are so screwed, Chad. We can't run. That's the thing. We have an old god curse. The eternal web. We can't escape. We have to fight this, but we don't do any damage. We have no weapons. This is... Attack the teacher. Maybe if we defeated the horror will end. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's all I have to do. Just, just... Boost, punch, punch. Attack the teacher. Oh, let's hope this works. Oh my god. Question mark, question mark, weak against magic. No special skill. The school building has become a portal to an unknown place. Close it before it is too late. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Not very lucky for your first randomized run. Yeah, also chat, it, that's where it is. The school clock, that's where it is. You're welcome. Uh, it's we can get some magic, so maybe we can try some magic. Spiritual actions. Should we do the clapping again? I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Clap, 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 clap. Lots of clap, and then defense block. You can't run. Meditate. Oh gosh. Stardika, thank you for the, <laughs> thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. And then, Aquidi. Death by structural snoo snoo. <laughs> ah, thank you so much for repeating the membership. Oh, quit, you're quit. Dodge. Time to get 115. Brace for impact. Ah, we can't do any of this stuff. Oh, jeez. Uh, cost two stamina, one reason. I think we can take, I think we can afford a reason for one stamina, right? Where is that one? Needs three one-time use only? Wait, where was the thing? Reduces experience by five, raise your chance to hit five or six. Spiritual actions? Regain one stamina cost two reason. Ah, that's rough. That'll put us at 12-12. Might as well just do that. Okay, here we go. Five claps in a row. Oh, 
jeez. Okay, good. We balance it out. Nothing happens if you got two ritual moves right. Two ritual moves right. Uh, two right, so... How should we do this? Bow, bow, bow. Clap, clap. Because I need to figure out which of the two claps were in the right place. But I also need to... Um... No, if I just... Need, if I figure out which of those two are... That... Mm, bow, 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 clap, clap. Or, like, bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. Bow, bow, clap. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 clap, clap. Uh, this is gonna make me <laughs> trying to do like very fancy, complicated um, back and forth ones would confuse me. So I'm just gonna go bow, 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 clap, clap. Sunway, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. For funny to say, Tempest boy hurt me. Literally, I was watching clips from last night, crying, face hurt, all my friends smiling. Love you all. Ah, thank you, thank you. Glad to hear that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, we're gonna try three bows. No, no, no. We'll do clap, clap, and then three bows. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, here we go. Thankfully, oh wait. Three claps, bow, bow, bow. And then, thankfully the building doesn't like punch us. So we're, we're good, you know? Like we haven't taken damage from the building yet. You think you got one ritual move right? Oh God, wait, so it's, going to be bow, clap, bow, clap, bow. No, it can't be bow. There can't be any bows in the end, right? It has to be the claps. So it's got to be like bow, bow, bow. Wait. Clap. Five claps is two right. Clap, clap. Bow, bow, bow is one right. So one of the... Wait. We can we can flip it, right? So clap, clap, bow, bow, bow. So we go bow, bow. Bow, bow. Clap, clap. Clap, right? Zen, thank you so much for the super chat. Got back from walking my dog, stop dead. Two doors down, stared at the street for half a mile and growled. I didn't see or hear a thing. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe it's a spooky ghost. Do you watch out, do take care of yourself. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let's try this one. Bow, bow, clap, clap, clap. <gasps> four of them right. Okay, okay. So it's bow, bow, clap, clap, clap is four right. Is that... It can't be claps. It's gotta be... One of the bows. Okay, how does this work? Sleepy Tiki, oh Grady. Thank you for giving them a mission. I was sad, but you held my little ghost hand. I'm dead, but thank you. <laughs> uh, I hope it was not too much of a spooky... Spooky dream. Thank you so much, thank you. I completely forgot what we did last time. Uh, clap, clap. So it was bow, bow, clap, clap, clap is four right. Clap, clap, clap was three right. So if this is four right, it should be clap, bow, clap, clap, clap. So clap, bow, clap, clap, clap. Maybe? I should, I should be writing this down, shouldn't I? Uh, yeah, I should <laughs> let me go get my notepad. I can't, I can't do five separate things with two different states in in my head. You know? Okay, here we go. Got that nice light paper ASMR going on here. Okay, so. Bow, bow, clap, clap, clap is four, right? All five claps is three, right? So it should be, and we just did clap, 
bow, clap, 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 right? So the last three are all claps. So it's gonna be bow, clap, 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 right? Because the last three are clap. And if we got, no wait, this just flips the B order around. Uh, five claps was two. Okay, five claps was two. So the first one is likely going to be a clap. Second one's going to be a bow. So clap, bow, and then clap, bow, clap. Launch sequence. We're not we're not taking any damage, so it's fine. The only thing that we're losing is um, the doom counter. The doom counter is the only thing that's going up. Okay. Bow, bow, clap, clap, clap is four. Clap, bow, clap, bow, clap is four. So number three and five are all claps. We can confirm that. It's likely that number two is also a clap. So... What? I... Mm, clapping on <laughs> what does the doom counter do oh it just makes things difficult isn't it well like is that the other mirror so the previous one is bow so bow bow clap bow clap bow bow clap bow clap right let's see <laughs> yeah it didn't do anything <laughs> I forgot. Um, the ritual only works on ghost enemies. This is a building. Okay. Um, well, spiritual actions don't count against buildings, even though it's weak against magic, but that's okay. Uh, let's just kill the teacher. Just, just stab the teacher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Boost, boost, stab. Boost, boost, stab. Just, just kill the teacher. Just, it's fine. Okay. Boost, boost, stab. Boost, boost, stab. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes the easiest answer is just killing the other person. We just kill the teacher. There we go. That was a lot easier. You know? <laughs> why, why bother try to do this when you can just kill the teacher? Easy peasy. Have you tried gun? <laughs> With her dying scream, the teacher throws herself into the portal. Her vicious master shows no mercy. You hear it devour her before the connection shuts. The confused children lie on the ground crying. Thanks to you, however, they are safe. Ooh. Ending A. 30 experience. Plus 15 experience. Minus 3 doom. Good, good. A little bit of heal, one day, plus one funds. Let's go. Oh, that's right, Reiko gives us money whenever we finish. Let's go. Old God stirs. Oh, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. The money that we got from Reiko, we can't even use because the God closed the store. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, are you... <sighs> fine, fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a bath. Take a bath. Uh, What are we at right now? 14, 14. Oh, we can level up though. Small experience boost. No. Stamina gain. I think we should get some stamina. Because of our Brittle Bones perk, we keep taking more stamina damage than anything else, plus all the injuries, so... Let's go ahead and get the stamina heal. What? It didn't... Oh my god. Mr. Weirdness! Thank you so much for the super chat. You did the knocker right now before killing the teacher. 
<laughs> from their point of view, I was just like dancing and clapping, just like styling on them. Okay. Let's go ahead. Check out. What do we have here? Second sight. Additional damage against ghost and eldritch enemies. Folklore stories, plus one knowledge. Hmm. We already have pretty high knowledge at eight. We could get two and get double knowledge power. Self therapy. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. Eh. Uh, do we have any spells? We only have abolish, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't want to just double down on knowledge with folklore studies. Kind of want to do that. Or we can also get stamina. Wait, this is max stamina, right? This is this. Wait, is this max stamina, or is it just healing plus four stamina? Because you kind of want to just double down on knowledge, because that's two dollars, which is nice. You did the default Fortnite dance before killing them. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll do this. We'll just go ahead and like double up on the knowledge. And I'll put us at 10. Yeah. Get that bottle. Oh, it wasn't a bottle. It was library notes. Book. Use. Gain a random spell. Lose one to two. <gasps> a random spell. Let's go. What do we get? Ooh. Support investigation. Ignore current event and instantly investigate a random otherworldly location. One time use only. Cost three reason. Oh. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. We'll save this. Nintendo. Credi, credi. Thank you for keeping the membership. This is, this is our escape card, chat. This is our get out of jail card because we have this, um, the eternal web, you can't escape from combat encounters, right? But we should be able to use this to get out, right? Right? Or does it, does it not apply here? Because it says ignore current event and instantly investigate a random other world location. So would we be able to do that? Can we use the spell during a combat? I don't think so, right? Because it says support. Advanced color scheme. Yeah. We'll hold on to it for now. We'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Let's go uh, watch TV. Some of our readers report a strange tall man dressed in white taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Watch TV now. Local police. Uh, helpless as more and more victims turn up in the downtown area with their throats slashed. Blech. One more time. A minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local scientists believe that some of the corridors might be man-made. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. I don't think there's much that we can do, so we'll just go ahead and continue on with another investigation. What are what is our status right now? We're just taking all the damage, aren't we? Broken bones. That is 20 max damage. Oh, that's why we couldn't get to 17. Oh my god. Uh, let's go visit the hospital with the next one. Oh god. <laughs> We're just having a time, chat. Just a normal Tuesday. Far out fable of a fear festival. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you to a curiously sounding festival. It is held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree and you need a break from all the stress. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. Doctor said the bleeding is internal. That's okay, because that's where all the blood's supposed to be. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Today's goal. 
explore a weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for you? Are they? I don't know. I wasn't expecting anyone. M maybe? A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promises to pick you who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Ooh. Interesting. Whoa! This is a much smaller map. Okay, so we can't even go to the hospital here. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. The festival begins in the evening. It's currently morning. Explore the weird village. Uh, I don't see anything else to do here besides go into the inn or explore the village. Let's go to the inn, for, inn first and see what's here. The inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone's cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder available of available activities lying on the table. Onsen sounds good. Relax a bit. Onsen sounds good. Let's let's do the Let's do the onsen. Hot spring feels great. Finally you relax a bit and enjoy the warm water. Plus two stamina. But we have a debuff. We have exposed ribs. We can't. <laughs> no, that was a waste. We can't get we can't get any more than 14 because of our broken ribs. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's evening time already. Oh my god. Okay. Enjoy the festival. The festival starts in the evening, so we got to keep going. All right, let's go ahead and enjoy the festival. Let's see what spooky things are happening here. Bunny Lorvi, hello, Goidi. Shouldn't we spend a month? Thank you for the fun. Also have fun on your vacation. Pet biscuit for me. Thank you, thank you. And of course, I will, I will. Oh, uh, just a real quick little announcement. Next week, I'll be taking a, like a 1.5 week break during the first week of November. So from like November 1st to about November 10th or 9th, I'll be taking a little break. Yeah. I'll, I'll make an announcement about it later on the Twitter and on YouTube community posts, but that's when I'll be taking the break. But yeah, thank you so much for re-upping the membership for Quady. Let's go to the festival chat. It's gonna be fun, right? We have broken bones. We have two broken bones, exposed ribs, and an effective wound, but it's okay because it's it's the memories that count. Yeah, it'll be my first actual break since like the Rust Arc, because I only took like a day break. <laughs> Chat, would you would you still love me if I had an effective wound, broken bones, and exposed ribs coming out of my kit like chest, my torso? <laughs> Would you love me if I was a Junji Ito horror creature monstrosity? It's not the worm anymore. It's like the, the, the Junji Ito type of like spooky stuff. And there's still some time before the... Aww. <laughs> Aww, thank you, Chad. There's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy setting up the stands and decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling that something is wrong. It's getting late. Enjoy the festival. Ooh, let's buy some souvenirs. <gasps> what? Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh. It's the puffer. This is, oh my god. Oh, that's right. It's, the stores are closed in the town. 
The store isn't closed in this small village. <gasps> Let's go. Okay. Taiyaki, plus one reason. Plus two stamina, minus two two. Prayer beats, faster spiritual actions. Oh. That could actually be, oh, that's gonna be really nice. Mr. Weiners, thank you. 10% pain, 20% pain, 50% concentrated levels of pain. <laughs> Give it a super chat. A happy coat. Plus one luck. Two funds. Wait, how much? Where are my funds? Um, I have five funds. Okay. Prayer beads will be good. It'll make us do our spiritual actions faster. So let's get that. And then equip it. Equip. Yeah, let's go. How much faster does it actually make it though? Discard, sell, inspect, inspect. Wooden beads. They fill you with hope. It, does it reduce? Uh, what does it? What does it do though, chat? What does it do? It says it makes it faster spiritual actions, but does it make like ten percent faster? Does it go down from twenty to eighteen? Okay, it's night time. Check out the inn. Let's go back in. Check out the inn. Do the bandages do anything about the exposed rib? No, these are all major injuries. At the, I'm pretty sure. Status, right? Yeah, these are major injury, major injury, major injury, and major injury. The bandages only handle minor injuries. Next time, chat, I'm going to cure the spider bite. I, I, <laughs> I don't want to take the risk of getting infected like that again. Okay, let's relax a little bit. Nice. We still, ugh, still wasted so much stamina we can't get to. Welcome to the Broken Bone Zone. <laughs> okay, day two. Today's goal. Learn more about the festival. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Oh. All right. Hmm. Let's be adventurous. Let's be adventurous. Let's find out who they are. They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find out more information about the festival? Oh. Oh no. I'm curious enough that I want to go explore the forest, but we also do need to figure out what's going on with the festival. Weird sounds coming from the forest kept you up all night. What could it mean? This... Hmm. It's still morning right now. So we can go ahead and... Um... Because we only... The festival starts at midnight, right? So... We should be able to explore the forest during the morning. And then go back to the festival in the evening. So we should be able to actually do both if we do them in that order. And there's no point going back into the inn because we have max stamina already. Yeah, let's do that. Forest first, and then in the evening, go into the festival. Oh, Reiko's still with us. You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down, and the food utensils have been scattered everywhere. Oh. What happened here? Let's search the tent. There's gonna be something inside, isn't there? There's, there's, there's definitely gonna be something inside. Luck trick failure. The sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. The amount of gore inside leaves no doubt about what happened to the owner. Ooh. 
Wait, why did that do stamina damage? Why didn't that do reason damage? What? You know what? As long as we don't get <laughs> as long as we don't get any more major injuries, I think we'll I think we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah, see, now it's evening, and we still have plenty of time to go visit the festival. Ooh. Okay. Should we Chat, do you know the... Must be the brittle bones. <laughs> Should we go and buy some more souvenirs? Wait, chat, do you guys know if the, the shop refreshes or not? If we if we go back to the shop, it should be the same thing, right? Because it gives you the option to refresh, restock at the cost of four doom. Look for friends, maybe we get another ally. We do already have Reiko though. But yeah, we should make sure that we don't like lose our friends, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't expect Dwayne the Rock Johnson to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You stumble into your friend, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Hey, can you spare some time with me? Plus 4% Doom of Green. Yeah, let's let's spend some time with the rock. His name is literally Iwa Rock. Wait, is that what it means? It means Big Rock in Japanese. <laughs> His name means Big Rock in Japanese. Amazing. This is amazing. I love it. <laughs> okay, we know we're definitely going to be spending time with him. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what I expected when I went to go check. <laughs> I don't know what I expected when I went to go check his card. <laughs> Wait, no, no, I'm gonna go get it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna prepare myself before I hit talk because it's probably gonna be some kind of another reference. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Talk. You you will look around. Did you hear that? Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, I thought I thought there would be like another reference or something. Cause it would be like, you a sniss. Do you smell that? Right? <laughs> like that would have if it was like, do you smell that? I would have lost it. <laughs> oh, what's that smell, right? Alistair, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Could you smell what Iwa is cooking? Ah, oh, this is a little bit of a missed opportunity. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> Can you hear what Iwa is cooking? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. Wait, oh, give me, give me just a minute. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. 
Oh my god. Oh. Plus two strain. Hey, that that cancels out our broken bones, so we'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> Oh my god. Chad, we're friends with we're friends with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back to the festival. Should we go find more friends? <laughs> what if it's another... What if it's another reference? <laughs> She's gonna break another rib from the lot. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> There's still time before this festival starts. It's getting late. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll do the festival tomorrow. We'll, we'll look for another friend tomorrow, but for now, let's enjoy the festival and see. Oh, you mean John Cena? <laughs> it'll, it'll just be this. It'll just be this. I mean, like, you could have sworn that you heard your friend here, but you don't see anything. On the ground lies a bowl of potato salad that someone seems to have left out. That's all it'll be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Camilla, thank you so much for being paid the membership. Oh, Quadio, Quadio. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go enjoy the festival. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, Epi, Okwiti, glad you're getting to experience my favorite games 1.0. May Iwa carry you on his big boulder shoulders. <laughs> thank you, Okwiti, Okwiti. <laughs> Upper ladies, thank you for the super sticker. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god. <clears throat> Gassy Gasly, thank you for the gift of memberships. <laughs> Kevin gets more to Jeff for the gift of memberships. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, I knew there was like Junji Ito references, right? I didn't expect the rock. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> you break into it. Oh wait. Uh, wait, sorry. I think I left my phone on silence. Give me just a minute for it to go up. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Feline Fortuna, thank you for the gift of memberships. Thank you. You get some more hearts in chat. Thank you so much. I wonder if this is a mask. Because you can kind of see the strap going behind this vendor's ear. So I wonder if this is the kind of mask that we saw um, the, like, the strangers wearing. You break into a cold sweat when you see the street vendor's twisted grimace. You back off, wishing it was only a mask. Oh wait, that's his actual face? Ooh. Okay, that's kind of spooky. Today's goal. Huh? Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They are talking about something awakening at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that. Oh, it's not safe. You decide to block the entrance to your room with the nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow, and you can't be too careful. Ooh. All right. Uh, we did take a little bit of stamina damage, so let's go back into the inn and take a rest. Right? Mm, one cent sounds good. Relax a bit. Yeah, that we get one of each. Let's go. Plus one, plus one. Let's go. Okay. Now let's go back into the festival and we'll explore around a little bit, see what we can learn. Pure Blue, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I try my very best to hold my bees because I'm wearing I hope it is not causing too much of a disturbance at your work, but thank you again for the super chat. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Look for friends. Here we go. Gonna find one more. I don't, how many friends can we have? Because we already have Reiko and Iwa. <clears throat> Look for friends. Let's go. Oh, you stumble into your friend, Asato. I need to move some stuff. Can you help? Minus three stamina. What? Oh, minus three stamina? That's so much, though. Oh, it feels too... <clears throat> it feels just too... This bonus might be real good. Not, yeah, might as well, might as well. Let's let's see what we have. <clears throat> Asato, what is your bonus? A witch? Oh, <gasps> let go. Gain two spells. Wait, let's talk to him. Asato smiles faintly. Two spells. Let's go. Only if Iwa can do the carrying for us. <laughs> Wait, is it better to have Asato as a witch in our party? Because we have Reiko, who's a socialite. Iwa, who is a chef. His <laughs> face is... And then a witch. Is it, is it worth? Is it worth? Because we could also just let Asato go and gain two spells. It'll be two random spells, but... An ally to just dumb? I don't know enough about the game to decide whether or not, like, having Asato as an ally would be beneficial. Like, I'm not sure what perks we get by having a, a witch ally, you know? So I'm not really sure there. But... Cool. Oh, it's the volume. No reason to keep Asato? Yeah, I think we'll... I think we'll, <clears throat> I think we'll just go ahead and let Asato go. And then we'll gain the two spells that we can use for ourselves. Noel Sato, hello. Okwede, okwede. The Junji Scooby-Doo gang featuring Dwayne Iwa Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne Iwa Johnson. Dwayne V. Iwa Johnson, right? Okay, two spells. Wait, the current spells that we have right now. <clears throat> Wait, can you just switch at? I think there's something in the air because my throat is like feeling a little extra phlegmy. Um, give me a moment. I'm going to go open my window and hopefully the dry air from the outside will, will help calm it down a little bit. so much for the super chat. Hi Shinri, Hollywood here. Can you keep that Iwa guy alive till the end? We kind of need it for another jungle action movie. Thank you for the super chat. I'll do my best. I'll do, I'll do my best to keep him alive. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, let's go. <gasps> Ooh. What do we get? Gro <laughs> what? Adds a new combat action bite until the end of this mystery. Oh, uh, yikes! Oh my god! But we do have another void. For the very least, we have we get now two voids, but we have teeth. I don't know if that was. Mm. I guess. I guess it was. 
worth because we now have two voids. So we can escape any kind of uh, encounters. The Tifa, that's kind of freaky. That's one reason to forget. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Bite seems nice, but I think we'll just go forget it for now. Because the reason we'll, we'll get another nice... You know what? Let's just hold on to it. We don't need to do it right now. Because it, ah, it costs two stamina to use. Yeah, let's hold on to it for now. Let's hold on to it for now and see. Maybe because of another mysteries, um, it'll become useful. But who knows? We need to bite this spider. <laughs> is that blood? Where is everybody? Oh. A trail of blood and sickly sweet smelling sludge leads to the outskirts of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Ooh. Four actions until sunrise. Oh, that's right! Something happens at the, at the dawn of the next- oh god, we have to explore fast. Okay, this is what I do. We go camp, rest, and then... We go to the camp, and then we rest because 10 stamina is very low. We're gonna rest, regain stamina, and then the la the next three actions we'll use, we'll explore the forest. So I think that's what we should do. Okay. Rest at camp. What? Four actions until sunrise? Oh, wait. Wait, these are free heals? Oh, it, oh, that's right. We, we pay when doom. The cost is doom. Oh my god. Ooh, that's actually quite a lot. Oh my god. 5% <clears throat> doom. We've almost gotten 10% just resting twice. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we have to go. We have to go. Explode the fire. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, sorry. Give me a mocha. I'm gonna go grab some water real quick because, like, my throat is... It's feeling really phlegmy and sticky or something. Going on, my throat was feeling like really, really crunchy. <clears throat> Here we go. You are surprised to find that a well dressed man sitting on a rock in the middle of the forest. However, when you get closer, however, more I think of the gifted membership. Thank, thank you. When you get closer, however, you discover that he's wearing a realistic mask that falls to the ground. Do, 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 do you have a moment to speak? about this product? Product? Huh. <gasps> oh my god, it's really spooky, what the hell? <clears throat> what? Oh my god, his face has been like ripped off and this middle portion of his skull has been like torn apart. Dream Salesman? 1 HP, they have two reasons. We have plenty of reason to spare, so this shouldn't be too difficult of a fight. Okay, let's go ahead and assess. Let's see if this weak against anything. It's Eldritch, but he should still be a... Wait, what? <clears throat> the symbol is like the Elder God symbol down here. So does that mean he's a switch and beam? Which means punching won't work, right? It doesn't work. I guess we'll have to go clap. Uh, okay. Clap, 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 clap. Five claps. 
Bats. Oh. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. That prairie beats make it go faster. 20% faster. Okay. Alright, I clap, 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 clap. Go. Eldritch male, weak against magic. No special skill. He spent his life selling lies to the unsuspecting people. Now these lies are everything he knows. Okay. Eldritch, Eldritch. This is spiritual though. We're just going to punch it, right? We can't run. We'll just have to punch. We'll just have to punch. Uh, wait, can we get... Get allies to attack? Chance to hit 70%. Oh, that takes 4 damage. 5 turns. 2 damage. 80% chance to hit. No, it's still faster for us to kick than to get our friends to help. So, boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. Go. <clears throat> oh, wait, hold on. Boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. Watch. Ooh. Okay, same thing. Boost, punch, boost, punch, boost, punch. Go. Yeah. Boost, punch, boost, punch, boost. Punch. This takes forever. Oh, it takes so much damage. Oh my god. Wait, do we have any more? Okay, good, good, good. No, no more debilitating injuries. Boost, punch, boost, punch. Go. <laughs> yeah! Let's go. <sighs> we are 42% do. Okay, I want to go unlearn. We're going to forget Grow Tea. That way we can recover Reason and put it to 9 without having to raise up the Doom Eater again. So you have 12, 9, four, 42%. The next one's going to be 6, so we're going to 48. 50%? We are almost at the end of this mystery, so it should be fine, right? Okay, rest once. 48. We should be good. Okay. Back into the forest. The trees overhead block the sunlight, and you feel... Gloop. Are you... Are you serious? We lost two reasons because we felt gloomy from this. Oh my god. Two reasons. That's such a heavy blow. Are you serious? Oh my god, we're died down to eight. Oh, you, come on. <laughs> okay. Back into the forest. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it. He's a hermit ally. Tap its power or it's too risky. Mm. I'm afraid the game. Seasonal depression hits hard. The espresso depresso is too strong. Yes. Honestly, we're. <sighs> we might as well, because we're already so low on reason that we. I don't think it'll be. We might as well risk it. Tap into his power. Knowledge check success. Let's go. Yeah, our 10 knowledge actually helped out. Touching it with your hand, you feel a new found knowledge forming in your mind. Plus one spell. Skip what? Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Shadow. Much of the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. What is that spooky candy? Ah, oh, my spooky candy for today. Ah, uh, I don't have any right now. I don't have any right now. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Thank you. 
so much for the super chat. It costs three reason though. That's like a lot. It deals six damage. I don't think six damage is worth three reason. We should just forget the spell and get that and cover that one reason though. Hmm. Extreme exfoliation. Imagine if like an avatar like bloodbenders or like waterbenders could like bend the blood from the, your skin and just rip that out instead of like you know <laughs> I can see why the priest died now yeah what should I have to say like oh um okay here quick here's a quick little tip uh there are services out there that provides you a disposable email address. So if you would like to sign up for uh, like free trials, you may use like a disposable email address service to go ahead and create one. That way you don't have to get all that spam inside your email inbox while still signing up for like certain trials. So I would use those instead of like signing up. Or you could use the email address of someone that you really dislike. Um, that's okay too. Although, like, you'll never get the emails if you need to confirm or anything, like a two-factor authentication stuff. Um, you won't get it, but, like, it is... It, like, if you really dislike someone, you can go sign them up for, like, astrology newsletters and stuff. <laughs> Following a trail of rotten fruit, you stumble onto a small forest shrine. It's probably dedicated to some local spirit. The small statue looks alien and menacing. So we can pray at him? It can't be that bad, right? Let's go ahead and pray. Perception check. Success! Let's go! Even with all the injuries that we have, and like all the debuffs to our stats, we're still doing well. Kneeling by the shrine, you discover a small piece of paper tucked behind the statue. Plus five experience. Not bad. Not very useful, but I guess it still helps us out a little bit. Um, about 35 away, okay. Oh. Sunrise, an abandoned factory. This must be the place they took everyone. Ooh. Wow. The sun is slowly rising as you get closer to an abandoned industrial building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest has become totally silent. Ooh. Too late. You were not the only one trying to stop the rich ones and your friends. Special forces have what? <laughs> Special forces have raided the occult hideout, arresting the suspects. Led outside, the handcuffed leader suddenly stops. You're too late, they say in their raspy voice. Our lord is free once more. Minus two stamina. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they got swatted. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm glad it's not like a fight. It's not like a boss fight. Yeah, maybe too much resting, probably. And But you know what? We'll take it. We'll take it. Later that day, after an interrogation, the detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still The detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the bus, wondering what exactly happened out there. Ritual, the being wants more. Knowledge is the key. 30 experience, there's still hope, minus three doom. Ooh, time passes one day, plus one bonus. Let's go. All right, what's this next one? Blood Moon. The crimson moon spotted over Shiokawa keeps everyone on edge. Are you kidding? All enemies get 20 power. 20? Are you serious? Okay. Let's go home. Ooh, a key. Nice. Uh... Weird. Nothing happens. Okay, let's go take a bath. Try to heal up a little bit. Um, we are looking very haggard. Uh, I 
want to do Reason, because it it's the one that's lower, but I kind of think we should do Stamina, because we are still pretty brittle bones. Glass bones and paper skin, yeah. All right, watch TV. Local police are helpless as more and more victims turn up with slashed throats. People are people. One more time, one more time. I don't see anything. One more time. Oh, someone is standing in the shadows, watching your door. Oh, they're still there. <laughs> Cute. All right. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and get into the... Because we can't really do anything right now. The shop's closed, so we can't even use the money that we have. All right. Uh, one, two... These two are finished, so I've got three more. I don't know, chat. Uh, it's not looking too good, chat. We have three more mysteries that we need to solve. 50% doom and like half health. I don't know about that. The bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Ooh. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board softwares allow, compu allow computers to communicate over phone lines. It's kind of old. That's like the 80s stuff. <laughs> All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anyone can connect to a bulletin system, or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on the bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to... <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's why it sounds like it's from the 80s, because it literally... <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh, right, chat. Totally not blind. <laughs> Many of them. <laughs> Many of them share their files or to chat about their favorite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. Oh, hey, look at that. But in the wake of sudden string of weird event or. In the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What's behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives? <sighs> Ooh. Okay. Investigate the forest location twice to complete the, t the quest. We might as well. Ah, but we only have 10 reason. No, let's do it, let's do it. We might as well. Let's check out the forest. Even if the rumored bulletin system's phone number is found, there is no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school's library will have one that will work. Ooh. Okay, side quest first. I like the music, it's really nice. The suspicious groups you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual in the clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. Climb. No! You fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you manage to limp away unnoticed. Minus two stamina. Oof. Okay, one more time in the forest just to finish the quest. You wonder what kind of animal the spider caught in its web. You scare away the annoyed predator and rip open the cocoon to reveal a human finger. Minus two reason plus one item. Are we... Are we taking the finger? After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Okay, so... Oh... 
the finger had a ring on it. Jewelry, occult, plus one dexterity, minus two max stamina. Surprising light. I think. <sighs> minus two maximum stamina. So go down from 14 to 12. But we get plus one dexterity. We might as well equip it. Wait. Can we not have both of them? Oh, you can't do both. Yeah, it's either prayer beads or the patina ring. I'll stick with the patina ring because that gives us actual decks. Whereas the prayer beads make us go like 20% faster, but we haven't really met too many ghosts. So, man. Okay, that's fine. Forest note. Ooh. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacred. No. I'm not going to die. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Shh. Oh, what the? There won't be anything left but us. That's messed up. No. Hard pass. No, thank you. No, it's that. Okay. Let's go to visit the school. Wait, hold up. Can we go visit the hospital? Enter. Cost doomed to enter. Heals injuries. We should, though. Okay. You wait patiently in the reception area. You have some time to ask if you are at before you are pulled to the office. Uh, move to corridor A? No. Let's just get let's just get some health real quick. Enter the doctor's office. Ooh. A skull. The music is eerie. Oh. Enough room added to storage. Oh, butts. Okay. Emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in your town. You finally asked the office, how can I help you? Additional actions available on the injury cards. Injury cards. Okay. Infected wound. I think we need to get rid of the exposed ribs, because that's the one that's killing our stamina right now. Surgery? Two funds? Oh yeah, we have four. That's fine. Okay. Badly bruised. Honestly, we'll take it. We'll take it. Minus one strength until the end of the current mystery. That's fine. At least this will clear itself out for the next one. But we should get rid of one of these two. Dexterity perception. Strength dexterity. Strength dexterity. Dexterity, perception, or strength. We should get rid of the broken bones then. Because they're both the, taking away strength and dexterity, so let's take care of that. When taking stamina damage in combat, replace hasty aid with the new random injury. Are you kidding me? Are you. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I already have brittle bones that gives me an injury on stamina damage. Oh my god. This is rough. This is really rough. Okay. Exit. Stored items. Painkiller. Not enough room. Okay. Let's go ahead. Forest note. We're not going to read that. We're just going to put that in the storage. And prayer beads will put that in storage as well. Painkiller. What's painkiller do? Plus two. Addictive. Don't overdose it. Should we use it right now? Let's hold on to it. No, we should... No, it's fine, it's fine. We'll hold on to it, we'll hold on to it. We have an extra space for items anyway, so it'll be fine. I think. Maybe. It's addictive. So, I think it's fine if we just take one. The first is fine. That's what they all say, isn't it, chat? 
<laughs> the first one's always free. <laughs> That's how they get you. They just say the first one. <laughs> when? Thank you so much for the super chat. Always enjoy watching Shinya play horror games. Feels like hiding behind my brother. Watching him beat other creepy monsters. Aww. It's a wonderful image. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Free sample. Ah. It's too stamina. I'll hold on to it because in case we need to use it, we'll save it for an emergency. Um, but yeah, maybe the first one should be fine. Alright. Completely broke. 10, 8. Travel home. Rest. Cost doom to enter, regain stamina and reason. You haven't even started the investigation, technically, because we've just been going through the field. Let's do some investigation first, and if we need to go back and rest, we can. But for now, let's let's start the investigation at the very least. Okay. To the library. Don't think I can interact with anything. You feel the gaze of a librarian. Many of the books you find here were donated after the accident at the university building. Study old tomes plus a spell. Make notes. Oh, wait a minute. This is actually kind of nice. Plus five experience. It's 2% doom, but we're almost to a new level. You carry out a few books to the main reading room. You decide to make some notes about the subjects that could be relevant to the case. Hopefully all your work won't go to waste. Return the books and exit the library. Let's go. And now we can level up. Yeah. Why would taking notes increase doom? Because it, ta it takes time, and the slower it takes for um, you to investigate, the more that doom counter builds up and the Eldritch God, like, rises. Alright, perks. Apt knowledge, plus one perception. Could be nice. What is this one? Arcane grass. Two additional spell slots. Eh, I'm not really using spells, to be honest. And we all have these, which are pretty good enough as it is. Self therapy gains extra easy. Ah. Now we're the best. Now we're the best. Because like the only thing that I would I would get rid of is one of the voids. Because void get, it costs three, but if you forget it, we get one plus two two reason. I don't know. I've stuck with it. I think the stats one will be the better one. Ah, I don't really know. I'm not really sure how useful these are. I know it's not Arcane Grasp. Revolt perks, maybe? Because these aren't really the best. Yeah, let's just eat the Doom. We might get something nice. Better. Completing a mystery grants a random spell. Quick thinking. Ooh. Additional damage to ghost and elder enemies. Oh, the quick thinking one's nice. Okay, let's double up on the dexterity. So we get plus one from quick thinking plus the dexterity itself. That'll put us at eight. And hopefully that will help us defeat a little bit. Or like succeed in a few of those like dexterity checks, maybe? Investigate the school. Let's go. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighbor is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Ooh. Minus one to all skill check modifiers. Oh, hey. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. While the school library's computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her home at the city. Okay. City. It's always behind you. Yeah. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. 
You won't destroy my life's work. <gasps> Whoa. That's, that's really spooky. Obsessed man. Total stamina, two stamina damage. Oh god. Uh, we don't have any weapons. Can we get our friends to hit? Uh, oh no. Base chance to hit is only 40%. Kick 80%. It's still it's still better to kick. Um, gosh. Look for an improvised weapon. Pick up a random improvised weapon. That had to be the only thing, right? Okay, grab a grab a weapon. Scan him, and then oh wait. Ask an ally to distract? If successful, faster combat action for the duration of the encounter. If fail, lose a random ally. Oh, is that, is that worth it? Is it worth it? Okay. Iwa. Distract him. Distract while I go look for a weapon. We can't risk losing Iwa. Oh no. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we, we protect Eva. Dodge. Ah, oh, can't escape. No. Lowers incoming damage by half and ignores the special attack. Okay. Let us. Dodge and then boost punch, boost punch. Or not. Dodge, boost punch, punch. Because we need to avoid taking so much damage. Because right now, our big issue right now is that we have haste to aid, which can turn into another injury later on. Ah. Okay, here we go. Launch. <clears throat> oh. Obsessed Man kicks you. You missed the attack, Moto. 8 8. Ah, I think we just have to. It's gonna be a battle of attrition. We just have to. Like, punch it out. Launch. <clears throat> Tiny cuts. Minor injury. No effect. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Oh my god. Why does he do so much damage? Why does he do four damage? Oh my god. <sighs> there we go. We are so screwed. <laughs> We're basically made of glass right now. We're made of glass constantly. You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts to your apartment stairs. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. Damn, computers are heavy. Okay, we gotta go home. We have to rest. What is this? Can't click on anything. You take a short nap on your bed. Your phone. You phone your best friend to talk about unrelated stuff. Plus two, plus two. Time fly by so fast. You prepare to leave before continuing investigation. Plus three, doom. <sighs> okay, okay, no. Just to be on the safe side, let's go take the painkillers. Use nice bandage. Uh. Our tiny cuts. I don't want this. Who the banishes? Because <laughs> who knows? Who knows what that's going to turn into? You know? Ah, uh, he's eight. Can't do anything like these. I don't like being at eight stamina. So I want to go back home and rest one more time. Even though it takes a three doom. Okay, ten, twelve. Much better. Let's go. Maybe goes into yeah. We might actually lose because of the doom counter right now because he had two more investigations. One within an empty corridor. You find an old letting machine. You don't recognize the brands of soda in the inside, but you can really use a drink. Get the cheapest one, the most expensive one. This is what I used to do in Japan. I just go find things I don't recognize and try just try to remove them. Um. We don't have any funds, but it's still giving us the option to drink the most expensive one. So I think we should just try that. 
You realize that you don't have enough money for the drink. A black can falls from the dispenser. You take a sip. Is it blood? No. Two reason damage. Oh my god. Oh. We've rolled really poorly on our stats, Chad. This is gonna, this is rough. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing, you struggle to look at it. Oh no, we'll take more reason damage. Ah. Intimidated by the unsettling portrait, you are haunted by nightmares. Oh come on. Okay, rest one more time. Okay, now... Hoping to find the lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff look exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down to the desk for a moment, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. We're, we're like on the end, we're like on the brink of losing it, chat. You stumble upon a nurse trying to open the door to the intensive care unit, constantly muttering something. When she turns her around, her face makes you scream in terror. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's not that bad. Oh, she's a doll. Not not like she's a cute doll, like like she's literally a doll nurse. Oh, come on. She can't keep the yeah, I like her hair. Just got done working the night shift. <laughs> Me went night shift. Okay. Uh, I need to wait on that tape. Uh, I gotta go. I assess and then block. Brace for impact. Here we go. Oh. Undead, female, weak against fire. She's blind. Won't attack unless provoked. A keen astronomy fan. Staring at it for too long, she discovered the horrible truth about her son. The solar worms have marked her. Um. I mean. Ah. She's blind, so she can't attack us, but at the same time, we can't actually escape because they're still caught in the web. We're not allowed to escape combat. Uh, can we use the void to escape out of here? Because I don't want to fight her. Right? Why do we even need to fight her? I mean, oh, oh wait. Listen to the bambling. Learn a new spell or gain experience. Clap, bow, pray. Don't use that. Well, if she's not gonna fight us, then we can we can just chill, right? Wait. Okay. Let's look for an improvised weapon, and then let's listen to the rambles. Ah, I need. To, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Launch. You found a new weapon. Broken bottle. Oh, let's go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We can keep looking for new weapons then. Improvised weapon. Search. Got a branch. Yeah, because the enemy doesn't do anything. She doesn't attack us when... Okay. Uh, look for another weapon. We have two branches. Um. Fast to equip. Uh, old broken bottle. 3 damage, 90 speed, 70% chance to hit. 3 damage, 90 speed, 70% chance to hit. Blunt. Sharp. I'm gonna have this sharp one because equip. And then we'll get rid of these. Oh, we can't throw them away. Right. Watch. Ah, it's all branches. And I can't throw away the branches, unfortunately. Oh, storage. Yeah, let's go. We're gonna farm items. <laughs> Broken bottle. 
Okay. Another broken bottle. Keep farming items. Let's go! It's, it scoops all the matches. Yeah, put them all to storage. Broken bottle, storage, ranch, storage. And just keep farming items. Another broken bottle. A branch. Oh no, is it, is it just these? I think it's just these two. I don't think it gives us any more. Item add to storage. Item add to storage. Okay. I, I, I guess that's all. <laughs> Let's listen to the rambling. It's one doom. But we can we can we can eat two too, right? Okay, let's listen. Oh, we learned to expel evil. Ooh, all those maggots. Support minus six doom, one time use only. Cost two stamina. Oh, minus six doom. Heck yeah, let's do that. Cast a spell. Nice. And yeah, well, well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Should we keep trying that? More listen to listen to the rambles. That that didn't do it. Okay, let's do one more search for items, and then there's nothing. We can't really fight. I don't want to fight. You know what? Here, let's just void. Let's get out of here. It's three reason, but that's okay. It's a one-time use. Uh, yeah, let's just void and get out of here. I don't want to fight her, because she's going to fight us, and we're not really in a position to be able to handle it. Plus, the status effects are kind of terrible for us, so let's just void out. Cast the spell. It costs three reason, but that's okay. This spell can only be cast when investigating a location. Oh no! Oh my god, we have to fight her. We can't escape because of the web. We ha- oh my god. Oh no! Reduces your expense by 5, raises your chance to hit. Stare at it. Just all the stare. Oh no. That was the only reason we held onto the spell. Yeah, it really was. Uh, okay, so if we can't do this, we'll just go ahead and forget the spell. That way we can get some reason back. Lowers Eldritch enemy damage by one. I want to hold on. Hold on to this for the boss. Okay, you know what? Here, we'll just throw. We'll just throw all the items at her. So collect the branches, collect broken bottle, and then let's just throw. Oh no! The enemy doesn't do anything this turn. Oh, I feel so terrible. It's his turn. Oh! Wait, what? Broken ball. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, throw. I feel so bad for throwing all these sticks at her, but she's not doing anything, so we'll, we'll take it. Throw. Oh no. I'm so sorry. She's just vibing. Bad. Okay, there we go. You defeated the Dalmers. Oh man. She doesn't do anything. She was just standing there. Well, she doesn't have to work the next shift at the very least, yeah. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose unalive attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandmother's house, grandparents' home, at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Okay. Let's go. Why was she not doing anything? Because she was blind. She had a status effect, so she couldn't attack us when we don't directly attack her. So, 
by standing at a distance and just throwing things at her, it, we were able to deal damage and she wasn't able to retaliate, unfortunately. But I feel really bad because she was just standing there and didn't know what was happening. Man. When you enter Metrocar, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite to you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package but hesitate, an icy feeling settling in the pit of your stomach. We're, we're so weak, we're just going to ignore it. We're so weak, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> no! You leave the packet, you leave the, at the next station in a hurry, hoping to forget the package as soon as possible. Minus one stamina. What? Are you serious? It does. Leaving it alone and not touching it does stamina damage? Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding. I hate this chair. <laughs> Why did it cut us? I don't know. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching the down, down the village streets. Jeez. Okay, let's keep going. Because you left the train early and ran the rest of the way. Well, that um, if you try to do that, because we had another encounter where instead of taking the train, we ran. The cost is Doom, because it takes time. Doom is basically time. Um, it should not take in stamina, which is weird. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're not a, you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Take a nap. Needs the hot bath skill. <laughs> Buy a coffee? We don't have money for coffee though, that's the thing. We have zero funds. I think we should just take a nap. Yeah, we'll just take a nap. Oh my god, this is... The world may be falling apart, but you really needed that. Plus one, plus one. Two percent doom. See, the doom is a time that it takes. Okay. Let's go. More in the village. Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the... Re <laughs> Is that really a filthy prick? Oh Welcome to the rice fields, mother hugger. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. Minus two weeks. Are you serious? How does that the reason damage to us? Oh my god. These references. Oh my god, I love this. It's what? Oh, oh no, 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 okay, we'll go here. It's dangerous here. Your reason penalty increase. I'm guessing every reason damage you take is an extra minus one. Oh my god, my heart. I feel like psychic damage. <laughs> When you find the girl's house, her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to the bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. But what? Floods. Unseen little floods have closed many of the roads. It's gonna be like three. Three Doom. Yeah, it's three Doom. Wasted a lot of time looking for a safe path. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. I have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams as at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to I'll be back to join you all soon. 
away from me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Like, Chad, do you guys remember that one story of like some high school girls who like lured another student out into the into the woods and like stabbed her because they were like they had like fallen like down the rabbit hole about Slender Man or something and they were like really deep into that and they genuinely thought it was real like that's ah, spooky yeah the Slender Man killings oh my god like that's what it sounds like she's like look at how happy she is like do what it tells you you won't regret a thing I'll be back to join you all wait for me okay like what Insane. Okay, thing in the super chat. First thing I see here is when Shimmy teaches us a bully, a blind woman, and done telling us welcome to the rice field. Mother Athens. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Gimster. It was wild. I watched a documentary about that yesterday. Oh my goodness. She lived, thankfully. <sighs> okay, that's good. But that must have been traumatic. I'm glad to hear that, that the, um, the victim survived, though. Jeez. Alright, let's continue our investigation in the village. This trail to an abandoned Shinto shrine is overgrown and steep. However, it could be an important place to investigate. Take the quick route. No, that we're going to break and snap our ankles or something. Okay, we're gonna take the safe route. It's gonna increase our doom a little bit, but oh god. Taking the safe route costs you time, but you get to the top of that incident. Burnt out candle wax and dried blood around the shrine when a mean a new sinister cult has claimed this location. Five experience plus two doom. Oh god. As soon as you arrive home, you dial the number and put the headset into the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. Okay. Uh, not enough room for the item. What do you mean, not enough room for the item? I'm empty. I can't pick up anything, chat. <laughs> I can't pick up any of the items. But I, I guess we're just sitting there in front of the computer, so it should be fine, right? Like, it, we're not, like, gonna throw the broken bottles at the computer, are we? Hey there, friend. <laughs> thank you for the gift of membership. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we're going up with nothing but a bandage. That we can't use on anything. But here we go. Welcome home. Did you like it so far? Hi? Yeah? Should we pretend to be... I don't know what to do. Let's pretend to be like that schoolgirl who was like part of the cult. Let's pretend to be it. Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. <sighs> Pick up the phone. But remember the note that we found about the girl saying, Remember the note. We, we can't listen to it. If we listen to it, we're gonna fall and get, like, brainwashed. You recall the note that you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand that they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Talk inside, like into your mind. 
everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We bring all humanity together. You need to think carefully about how to respond. Can't save everyone. I feel like this would just kill us, right? I want to say suffering is human. Because I think if I say I don't want to die, this sounds like... Like, it, like it, if you were a student who fell into this cult and you were scared and you said, I don't want to die, I think they would make it worse, you know? I think suffering is human. As in like a... We're not trying to escape this suffering because to be human is like... Suffering is part of the human experience, you know? So like trying to escape it by unaliving is not the solution. Suffering is human. How can you believe that? Well, okay. If you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you are strangling yourself with a phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, but the struggle brings out strength you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. Minus five stamina. 15% max stamp. Oh, we survived though. Oh my god, we survived. You listen to the staticky signal on the other end. It's harsh to your ear. But then, the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Are we fighting our phone modem? Yeah, we're fighting the phone modem. You can see the, the phone cable coming up here because it's strangling us right now. 32 HP. One damage to everything and 64 power. Your chance to hit is lowered by 34%. Oh my god. What? Okay, okay. Um, eyeball. Okay, analyze. And then... Oh, I'm sorry. Reiko, Iwa, I need you to distract me. I need you to distract for me. Okay. Distract for me, and then I'll analyze. And then, I don't know, let's punch it a few times. Punch it a few times. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna be hard, chat. We're at 5 health, that's not gonna work out very well for us. Okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Iwa has managed to distract together. You kick together minus 2 health. Doesn't have a type. Oh no. How did we miss a stationary item? <laughs> it doesn't have a type. I don't know what to do besides punch it until we lose, but I I don't have enough health. Uh oh. Ah, uh, no fire spell. Yeah, I don't have any good spells. We have abolish. But that costs three stamina, we can't really do that. We're gonna forget this. Forget the spell to gain one reason. And then we're going to go and heal one stamina. Where is it? Wait. I don't know what this is. One time he's only needs stamina or reason to be lower than three. Damage. 
but the base chance to hit is 36%. Two damage, 80%. Okay. Uh, oh god, oh god. Can't run. Brace for impact, reduce any damage by half, but it only does one damage, so we'll still take the full damage anyway because it gets rounded up. Drastic Abilities hit chance for the enemy. Okay, dodge. And then boost, kick, boost, kick. No, no. Boost, boost, kick. Boost, boost, kick. Oh god, I hope the dodge works. I hope the dodge works. No! And we have a broken jaw. You can't cast any spells. That's fine, because... We don't have any. We don't actually have spells anymore. Okay, same thing. Dodge, boost, boost, punch, boost, boost, punch. Oh, come on, please. Dodge, 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 dodge. No! Cut artery? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Dodge, boost, boost, punch, boost, boost, punch. Oh, no. You've got to be why does the dodge not work? Oh no, Chad. I think this is it. Okay. Order your allies to attack. Four damage, though. Strong attack? There's no way we can hit. There's no way we can hit. Okay. What is this, though? Desperate struggle. One time use. Doubles all damage dealt this turn. That's still not enough. Unfortunately, that's still not enough. Desperation. Boost. Kick. Boost. Boost. Kick. No, boost. Kick. Boost. Kick. Boost. Kick. Ah, no. I think this is it. No, that's it. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Oh no. <laughs> At the very least, we can finish this off. Boost, boost, kick, boost, boost, kick, boost, boost, kick. At the very least, we can just defeat the modem. Boost, kick, boost, kick, boost, kick. We'll take down the we'll take down modem with us. <laughs> you wrenched the phone from your ear, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself with that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. From the bulletin's number and the phone book, you find the system's operator address. When you find when you, you enter wait, when you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still running, unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause now gone, the suicides eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you are relieved to know that the bulletin won't take any new victims. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Ending B. <sighs> plus 30 experience. Plus 15 doom. Or plus 3 experience. 15 experience. Oh nice! 45 experience. Plus 1 funds. Elder God stares. Riots. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown area. The police are hopeless. Oh god. Okay, let's take the key. We're at negative health, but I guess I guess we could survive with one. Right? Oh, wait. Available perks. Available perks. Uh uh. Per perception? No. Additional damage against Ghost and Eldritch. You know what? We'll take this. We can heal. We can heal a little bit. <laughs> Let's go! We can heal! Oh... Take a bath. Heal of stamina again. Extra stamina gain. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Five, six. We're gonna die to the Doom Meter now, though. We're gonna die to the Doom Meter. Oh my god. Nothing else.
outside. One more time. Nothing outside. What was that symbol? Ooh. Oh god. Tis but a scratch. It's clutch. But we're gonna die the next investigation. We only have five snakes. This is not looking good for us. Oh my god. Look. One stamina for each investigation. That's gonna kill us though. Let's look fashionable at least before we die. I like this one. This is, oh, this is cute. I actually really like this jacket. It's really nice. Oh my god. That's a nice movie poster. Okay. If we're gonna die, we might as well die looking nice. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna <laughs> Everything died looking cute, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get the other endings for the Moonlight Sailor's one. Sorrow for Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. Begin with one fisherman who dragged something awful into the belly of the ocean. Dark writing ooze that mesmerized and beyond control. He hid himself awake for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlit night, when the young girl spotted his bows drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one, they are disappearing. Soon, the ocean will have taken them all. Can I use the bandage in anything? Uh, God. We can use this one. We can bandage this. Alright. Now we have full open inventory. Stored items. Uh, bottle. What? Unequipped? sell them for any money. I can't take any of the bottles or branches because I think these are weapons so it is it doesn't like I have to put it into slot A it won't let me hold on to it that's the thing. Unless broken bottles? I can't even ah, branch branch not enough room for an item what? Okay, let's put it away. Let's get the bottle at least. Oh no. Why? I'm so confused. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. You start your investigation hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Should we heal? It's gonna cost us a lot of doom. And we're probably gonna die to doom instead though. It seems it bugged when you farmed it. It's bugged out? Yeah, oh, like my inventory is full. Four out of four, but like, I have all these slots empty. <sighs> I guess this I guess this will be the first time we see a Doom loss. Okay. 82. Oh no. Alright, let's go. Are you kidding? <sighs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another bite. Another bite. <laughs> oh my god, this is death by a thousand cuts this run, chat. Death by a thousand cuts, we're just being like... <laughs> this run is cursed, yeah. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Let's go. It's the bite of 87. Oh my god. Yeah, we're probably gonna get a doom ending for this one. Are you kidding me? Minus two reason plus one item. Would it be fine though? 
Oh. Right. Our inventory is bugged. We can't get new items. <laughs> no! Oh my god. You've gotta be kidding me. Store items. Okay. Discard. I'll try discarding them all. Oh! What? You find a huge pile of nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe that'll stop them from sailing out. Uh... Storage that one. Branch. Discard. Branch. Discard. Uh, broken bottle. Discard. Branch. Discard. Broken bottle. Discard. Branch. Discard. Branch. Discard. I think it's still bugged though, because it still shows three out of four. Okay. Discard. Patina ring? Plus one dexterity max stamina. Discard? Does it doesn't does it do anything? No, chat, I think it is still bugged. I think it is still bugged. Yeah, three out of four. It tells me I have three out of four items here. No, you've got oh my god. Forced note. I can't discard this, but I can leave it in storage. Discard two items to complete a quest. But that doesn't help me. That doesn't help. Oh my god. Let's just keep going then. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the punishment for trying to spam and throw sticks at a poor blind nurse. Following the suspicious person, you enter the old rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and only has two doors, one of which you came through. But you can't see the strange man anywhere. Let's search the room, maybe we'll find something useful. Oh! Oh. <laughs> you got an empty bottle. We'll take it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we'll take it. The fisherman's wife. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered in black marks. I've never seen the bug before. Yeah. Oh no. Walking through the forest, you spot a pair of legs sticking out of a bush. Before you can do anything, however, they twitch and move. Man, you didn't plant. Three stamina damage? Oh my god. Nice legs, though. Oh. This is it, chat. This is it. We're done here. Unless. Unless. <laughs> Ask our allies to attack, and then we'll join attacking them too. Launch. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> Oof. How much damage? We're at negative three. Negative three. Let's be negative six. is ready to return once more. Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumbed to your injuries. As the dust settled, uh, as the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. No. Rest in peace. I just saw three, saw 21 new events. Gosh, that medical history, the the brittle bones debuff, that was killer. That got us so much damage early on. But oh well, that happens.
We'll take it, we'll take it. <laughs> Considering she went all that she went through, she did great. Yeah. We got through three mysteries and then all like halfway through the fourth one. We you chose a hard old god. We just picked a uh, quick play. And then we got the bug, so we couldn't get new items. That was really rough, though. Yeah. And we got to meet the rock. This is true. <laughs> Man. I kind of feel sad because we didn't get to do anything cool with the rock. I wonder what stuff you can customize. One of the core ideas behind World of Horror is modularity, allowing you to mix and match various card packs with different content. Simply select the card packs you want to be included by pressing continuing and pressing the arrow on the bottom. Oh! Base game. Unlockables. Extended A, B, and C. Wow! Blingy, there's so much! Contains four additional skins for Rad Up Student Allies. Oh, do we, but we don't have these. We need to unlock them by playing the game normally. Oh! kind of cool. One last thing. A tall man left a suitcase for you this morning. He said that you will know the password. I wonder what that could mean. I'm supposed to know what the password is? Seed, game seeds? Oh! Random miles. Okay, let's see what happens with this one. Oh! Oh! Okay, let's see what we got. I'm probably not gonna go through it because we're almost out. We're at like two, almost three hours in. Oh, wait, you get to pick? Oh, that's so cool! Transfer student, PDA, none. 20 female, could be, could the ghost following her be any way connected to all the weird events happening? Plus knowledge, minus strength, starts with one random spell. Ooh. Oh? <gasps> they have voices? Aww, it's cute. Aiko Takahashi. Barely surviving after a ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater, she's determined to solve this mystery. Plus dexterity but minus knowledge starts with combat speed bonus. Oh. <laughs> a Yakuza driver, Haru, 24 male. Robbing the old abandoned manor was a mistake. With his friends dead and mutilated, and a vengeful horror chasing him, no speed is too fast. Starts with cigarettes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Mizuki Hamasaki. What a strange world we live in, where stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way to boost your career. <laughs> oh my god, is she an influencer? <laughs> is she an influencer? Is that what it is? Plus charisma, minus strength, but starts with a random ally? Not bad. A teen idol? But she's 20. Oh, it says up there, teen idol. But... Mizuki, you're 20. You're, you're two years too old. Isn't it? Is that what it is? I don't know. How, I don't know what teen are. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that? What, why, why was there like a... Does that do anything? Does it like add like an extra challenge or something? What is that? Difficulty cultist starts with four. Oh wait! Oh. 
Aww. Skeptic. I'm guessing this is the easiest one. 21, 21, start with five funds. Threat level lowered, weaker enemies. Max stamina, 21. Threat level lowered. Threat level increased. Ah, cultist, true believer. Harbinger of Doom is 13, 13, zero funds. Character stat decreased and stronger enemies. Oh, it's like the difficulty level, I see. Right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we're not doing this again. I hit the randomize button and actually just threw me into this one. No, we're not doing the spider again. Not this time. <laughs> oh, man. Can I, can I quit? Can I quit? Can I cancel? Can I cancel? Press Q to restart, right? Doesn't work. Q doesn't work. You could have chosen like an old god in the backstory, too. Oh! You perished, cause of death unknown. Oh, that's cool. Your playthrough lasted three seconds. Wait, wait, I want to go see what other stuff you can customize. That's kind of cool. Customize. Continue. Randomize. Let's go. Yeah. This is the last one that we haven't seen. Oh no, this is the one that we ended up playing as first. The photographer, Koji Tagawa. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. The government won't sweep this one under the rug. Ooh. And then backstory. Class of 98X. What is that? Game selects a random backstory. World of War. Medical history. Oh my god. Start with extra experience and advantages, but injury will occur whenever player takes damage. And then there's a whole bunch more backstory that we haven't unlocked yet. Oh, more characters too. Um, item statistics randomization. It is very oh. When leveling up, game will only draw generic and character exclusive park cards. Random park cards. Oh. Wait. So isn't it a good thing to do like random, random, just all random, because it'll give us exposure to most of the cards and everything? Wouldn't that be the best way to do that? Timeline B, a cult capital of Japan. Every year, our city is visited by hundreds of tourists. Timeline X, random timeline. A is world recorded. Oh, oh. I'm guessing we'll unlock more timelines and stuff. Classic mode. Old gods are awakening. Your only chance is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Scenario mode. Short adventures set during the events of classic mode. Coming in the future. Oh, these like shorter uh, gameplays and you don't want to go through like the whole whole thing. We might try it. When this comes out, let's try a few of these because we can go through like... I... I don't know how much shorter it is, but like we can, like if we can fit one or two shorter adventures instead of one long adventure that takes like two hours and a half, you know? Let, let's try a few of these when this comes out. Endless mode. You cannot stop the old gods. In this mode, there are no mysteries to solve. Earn points by surviving an endless stream of encounters. That sounds kind of wild. <laughs> I don't think I'm good enough at the game or like understand enough of the mechanics to to get there. Additional modes will unlock as you progress. There's even more modes? Oh my god. Chat out. How chunky is this game? There's so much. And there's also so much that we haven't even seen yet. Oh my god. I kind of do like it. I kind of do like it. The game is beefy. It's so chunky. Okay, chat. Can I... Can I be honest with one thing? Uh, on one hand, I can see myself like getting very into this. I can see myself getting very into the game, right? On the sec on the other hand though, right, it's like 
as we play through it, we'll see a whole bunch of things that we haven't already seen before, and I'll kind of just want to skip through them, you know? Like the campaign, the story campaigns for each of the mysteries, like we've already seen the Sailors one twice, you know? I don't, I, I kind of don't want to like go through the whole thing reading out the dialogue and the text and everything over and over again, because that does add up a lot of time to the gameplay, but like, but I am having a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. It's like just challenging enough that I kind of want to get better at it. You know? You don't have to reread the things you've seen before. But I worry that like it'll just end up being uh, like, you know, like I'll be skipping through a lot of stuff, you know? Would it be a good Zatsu game? No, unfortunately I don't think it'll be a good Zatsu game. I, I do have to think a bit in order to like get through the things. They need to take a money and get samey. Yeah, that's the thing. Don't reread. That's what I worry though, because if someone comes in and they're like just jumping into the middle of the stream, they won't understand it. And at that point, like if I stop rereading the stuff that we've already seen before, it. I don't know. I worry that it won't be as fun, uh, fun of a stream if I'm not like narrating all of it. I know a few people who only read new things. It's okay. But it would only be, like, new to me, you know? <laughs> At the same time, you have to learn the results of the events to survive. Yeah, that's true. Because not only that, um, like, even for Moonlight Sailors, the mystery, there are three total endings. And we only unlocked ending B, I believe. We don't, we don't have not, we have not seen endings A or C, so would still have to read through the mystery to notice the difference when we get endings A and C. You know? Kind of sweep the VODs later. That's true, but I feel like it'd be a lot of a lot of work to like pause the VOD to try to read the read the stuff that I'm skipping through it. You're one of the few boys who make playlists, so I think it'll be okay for catching up. <laughs> Wait, do the other do the other boys not do playlists? Oh man, TLDR of each event. That might be the best way to do it. That might be a good way to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I think the TLDR of each event, they stopped doing it. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. Overthinking this. At the risk of thinking even more, I'll go ahead and think on this a bit more. Um, but yeah, I actually do like the idea of kind of going through the run, reading the things that we have not seen before, and then skipping over the things that we have already seen. Like, I believe combat, um, I can just kind of jump through, like speed through combat, because there really isn't much to read about the combat other than just my own personal decision making on like whether to attack or not. But then like at the end of each of the mysteries, we can do like a little summary so I think that might be the best way to do it. Yeah. Maybe just rereading the new things, or the, just reading the new things is fine. Yeah, sounds great, but it's up to you. Once you become good at combat, they'll be very fast. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking. But we have, we've not seen um, too much of, uh, oh jeez, no, 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 no. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Okay, let's just hang on, hang on, continue. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Cause like I've been, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Also, the art is kind of fun. Okay, wait. As an aside, chat. I know you're gonna judge me, but like, the idea of a plant that's so big that it can like eat people. Like, what would it feel like? to be put inside a pitcher plant and like slowly be dissolved. I what happens if you put two people in it? Like the pitcher plants and uh Venus flytraps, like if you put too much food in them, they actually get bloated and the the like part of that plant ends up dying. And I don't know, you know, like I'm I'm just I'm just curious, you know? 
getting pickled sounds horrible, not gonna lie. <laughs> It'd be very tight inside. But like... Would a person be strong enough to like, poke a hole? Like, could you, like, okay, like, for, for example, wasps, okay? There are certain types of wasps that, if they get trapped in a Venus flytrap, have pincers that are actually strong enough to chew through the, the trap and escape. Like, would a human be strong enough to, like, pierce the side of a pitcher plant and, like, manage to escape before the acid kills them, you know? Humans are weaker. I guess you need like, like a knife or something sharp, right? Because your fingers and knee, like your your nails, probably wouldn't be enough to like claw your way out. Like we don't have claws, right? The acid works slow. That's what I'm saying, right? So like, I, I, I just, I just, I'm curious to know what like the sensation of being put inside a Venus flytrap would be like, you know? I'm just really curious. <laughs> the fig wasp is interesting. Oh yeah, the fig wasp. Like the fact that the fig wasp, when they pollinate fig, uh, fig fruits, they like jump inside the fig. But like the entrance to the fig is so tight that as the wasp crawls in, the wings of the fig wasp gets ripped off, and then the body of the wasp stays inside the fig where they lay their eggs. And then the enzyme of the fig dissolves the wasp body. So every single time you eat a fig, there is on the inside the dissolved remnants of a former fig wasp and or the eggs. I'm really sorry if this stream is the first time you are learning about this. Um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> More protein. Yeah, exactly. There's more protein. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just... It, it's not... It's not vor in the sense of, like, you're being eaten, right? It's, like... That... That idea of, like... Not claustrophobic because, like, a pitcher plant is open. I don't know. Like, just being put into different kind of places, you know? I, I don't know how to describe it, chat. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> not for but is not a great start, my guy. <laughs> uh, thank, you for the, thank you for the super chat, Hippie Frey. No, oh, but really. But really. <laughs> oh, I see all the hammer emojis. Okay. <laughs> uh, just a very curious guy. I'm. I am just curious. I'm just curious. Okay. Today was a little bit of an unsuccessful raid. Uh, unsuccessful run, and not raid. Um, but I kind of want to get more into this. I'm really liking the art. Wait, hold up. Is there a way to see the art extras? Oh, cute. Like, she just looks so sad. Wait, enemy beast. Oh, she's like, yes, I do want to learn more about you. She's all confused. She's like, wait, you want to learn about me? Really? Yes, really. Adorable. So cute. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, like, trying to scare you, right? And you're like, and you're like, wait, tell me about yourself. And she's like, wait, what? Me? It's like, yes. Yes, you. Look, that's so cute. <laughs> okay, wait. There is. But is there a way to, like, see them? Oh my god, look at all these events that we have not even run. <gasps> wow, there's so much. Not the door, the explorer haircut, though. Eh, it's fine. Is there a way to see the art, though? Compiles all the mystery endings you've seen. Allows you to revisit all ending screens. Check out what enemies you defeated and how many are still lurking out there. It, hmm, I was hoping to see, like, a list of all the 
enemy character models? Because I'm really curious. Like, like I remember Scissor Woman being really cool. And <laughs> Toilet Coast. Ah, uh, we can't see it. There should be there. Is it, where is it though? Credits and things? Reset progress? No. Back to menu. These are options. Extra. Skip path customization. Extra. Extra math displayed. Uh, chat, where is it? Oh, she's like showing us here are the different endings that you've gotten. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I want to. Aww. Can we see them though? Like, I don't think the keys work. And there's none, probably on their official Twitter they might have it. Uh, I don't like the name Leech Girl. Oh, it's not that bad. It's like, uh, what was it? Um, It was like the face of a girl and it looked like she was vomiting and there's just like a whole bunch of leeches like coming out of her mouth. So it's not too bad. Bloated Teacher was kind of cool. Uh, the one that we saw at the very beginning, Gore Covered Student, that was kind of nasty. The Dream Salesman, I like the Dream Salesman's face. That was so cool. Like the front half of your face, the skin being ripped off and like the, the skull being like shaved. I don't, I don't know how you describe it. Cyclops Neighbor was kind of meh. <laughs> Shiokawa School fighting the building. I want to see the art though. I want to see the art. Maybe next time, maybe next time. Ooh. Complete the game with the second character. Roll a one during a stat check. Unlocks perfect ally. It's really cute, really cute. Oh, it's in the comic crossed. Oh, I'm not familiar with that one. The school of Shioka was a wild one. Yeah, not the school I see. No. <laughs> you know what? On that note, on the on the school lassie notes, I think we'll go and and call it here for today. <laughs> it's been three hours. Sorry, it was a bad run, but we got really unlucky with the perk or the debuff. I want to do more. I want to do more of this. I want to see all the art. That's actually like the number one thing that I want to be like looking at. I want to see all the art. It's really cool. But yeah, <laughs> at least it wasn't the plant tummy. Hey, the legs sticking out of the plant tummy was kind of cool. Like, they were nice legs, okay? <laughs> and we met Iwa too, yes. So I think we got to meet a, a celebrity, a real life celebrity chat. Um, someone please timestamp the moment we met Iwa because I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back to revisit that moment. That was great. But yeah. Thank you all again, everyone, for stopping by. I'm gonna... <sighs> I just... I was about to say I want to play this off stream, but then I realized if I do play it off stream, it'll cross over the events that we haven't seen, and I might like end up seeing things off stream that we've not seen on stream, and then that could cause me to get confused during the actual stream about which ones we haven't seen and have not. You, you know what? That just means I need to schedule. I just it means I just need to schedule this more, right? So <laughs> Lupu, thank you so much for refilling the membership of Quidi of Quidi. Alright chat. Outro time and I'll send you over on a raid. Thank you all for stopping by. I will make an announcement about what I want to do with this later, but I think I'll just go ahead and schedule this, like, I don't know, World of Horror Wednesdays. Or something like that. I don't know. Something, maybe? We'll, we'll, like, every Wednesday we'll play World of Horror and just do a couple while we're or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Alright, chat. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon. Oh, yeah, see me. <laughs> Why is this game so fun? It's like morbid, but like in a kind of like really cool way. I was gonna use a different adjective, but then I didn't want to get bonked again by chat, so I'll, I'll figure something out. <laughs> you will not.
not know what adjective I was going to use for... for, for <laughs> Alright, thank you all again for stopping by. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Um, we have some more spooky stuff coming up later this week, so looking forward to hanging out with everyone again. Um, just as a quick little reminder, at the start of November, I'll be taking a quick like one and a half week break or so. It won't be too bad. Um, I just want to give everyone a little heads up on that. Let's see who is currently streaming right now or going to be streaming. I don't see anyone, actually. <laughs> All right, I don't see any waiting rooms. Um, I don't see anyone streaming live right now, so I guess we'll go ahead and call it here. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Please make sure you grab lots of food, lots of water, and wiggle around a bit, and stretch your legs, get something tasty and delicious. But yeah, bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. See you all tomorrow. Koyasumi. You were going to use hot again, weren't you? Yeah, I was, but... Shh, don't tell anyone. You didn't hear it here. Quiescent me, everybody. Quiescent me.